So, you've bought yourself one of these, the Inokin Go Z. And yes, I am going to refer to it as the Go Z, not the Go Z, because I'm from the UK and not America. But anyway, you've bought one, but you don't know how to use it. Well, you're in the right place. The Inokin Go Z is a brilliant bit of kit for you guys out there as a starter kit. It comes with the newest version of the slide tank, which is essentially a plastic version that works very well. And it works very well because you can use the existing coils from the Z coil range. It comes with the 1.6 ohm coil in situ. And in all honesty, this is one of the easiest devices to use on the market today. So let's start off before we go for the showpiece that is filling the tank up. Let's talk about the battery. 1,500 milliamp battery is the first battery that I've come across from Inokin that is in fact five clicks rather than three. Anyway, so to turn the battery on, five clicks. And you get, oh, a few different colors that flash up beautifully. So now you know the battery's on. So to use the battery, make sure your tank's on and make sure that you have prepped the coil because otherwise just screwing the tank on with, with no juice in the tank or, or a coil that has only just had its first drinky poo of juice is going to you know be ruined. I've already let this uh, sit in juice for about 10 minutes and it's good to go. So to make it work, just hold down the trigger button. To change the coil, grab your airflow control ring, which is this black ring at the base, and just unscrew. Once that's off, all you do is grip the coil either side, and then you just slide it out like that. Oh, nice and simple. And then to put it back in, say this was a fresh coil, you've got these two plinths either side, like on a lot of Inigan tanks. And all you do, pop this in, making sure that the flat sides are uh, in the same position as the plinths on the base of the tank. You push that in, make sure it's nice and flush, and then you screw your airflow control ring on. Good to go. Now I can fill it. Now I've shown you how to do a coil change. Let's, let's fill it. So open up that top part of the tank again. Pop your nib of your juice bottle into the silicon juice port cover, and then just squeeze. Squeeze to your heart's content, not quite, you've only got a two mil capacity. Once that's done, slide that back over like that and then leave to soak for about 10 to 15 minutes and you're good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please, please, please subscribe, turn on notifications and uh, until the next time, I've been me, been you've been you been and well done for that. Been... Why, why do you always leave me out? Because you're a mild distraction at best.